Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am unbelievably excited to finally be playing with the Fenty Beauty products that I purchased the day after it was released. I know this video is coming to you guys late. My laptop wasn't working and I couldn't film. So today is the day that we are going to be playing with the foundation, with the primer, and one of the highlighters that I picked up. I'm very happy for Rihanna. Congratulations on your brand. I did not know that Fenty was her last name. So now you all know, for those of you that didn't know that, that is the reason why she named her brand Fenty Beauty. Her line will be sold on her website and also Sephora. I will have the products that I purchased linked down below in case you want to pick them up. If you are new, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And without further, let's get into reviewing the products. This is the bag right here. I went to Sephora. I picked up one of her highlighters. I got Girl Next Door and Chic Freak right here. And I got I got my birthday perk. I got the foundation in 290 and I also got the primer right here. Doing 290. Hopefully it matches me because I did see this in the sephora lights and as you know those can sometimes be deceiving but like always i am going to do half my face with the sponge the other half with my brush i did not buy her sponge i did not buy her brush just because i feel like we don't really need extra gadgets to make things work if you're going to make a product please make a product that's going to work with the gadgets we already currently have because having to buy extra things is just ridiculous in my opinion no one has time for that nor the money and then i was highly surprised with the highlighter that i chose because honestly i was looking at her highlighters and none of them really caught my eye I felt like two of them were very pink, and I'm not a huge pink person, let alone a highlighter that is pink. One of them was more gold, and I'm not talking about Trophy Wife, I'm talking about the duos. And the other one was a little more silver. Let's watch them, but they just, the gold one I don't mind going back for because it, I feel like it's going to work better on me, on my skin tone. The silver was definitely way too light for me. I feel like if I were to wear that, it, you could you could see it like it's it's I feel like it's more for a light to medium skin tones I was highly surprised that I even picked up this um this is the packaging by the way very beautiful is it going to focus uh it is not alrighty then it's gonna play me then I like that it's kind of like a honeycomb shape and then it does come with a good size mirror and this is it right here so I did end up getting this is kind of more like pink gold a little bit like this has definitely gold in it this is definitely more pink I was very shocked just like you guys because I was definitely not going to get either of the pink shades but when I swatched this I felt like it complemented my skin the best see how pretty that is and you see on my brown skin how pretty it looks that's why i chose this one over the gold one the highlighters are 34 dollars five shades but the duos come in four there's four duos and then there's two full pans there's the metallic moon which is like the white highlighter and it's not very vibrant which is my what i kind of got when i was swatching them at the store and then also trophy wife now trophy wife i know is everybody's go-to everybody's drooling over it but honestly these highlighters although they're beautiful they have so much glitter and the trophy wife is like a glitter with gold and i'm not into glittery highlights and because of the price tag, because they're $34, I just couldn't bring myself to buy a product 
that I most likely will use for review and then return it. I just felt like that was such a waste of product and a waste of money in my opinion because I know I wouldn't wear it because it has so much glitter and I'm sure it's gonna fall on my face and then I'm gonna have glitter everywhere. The foundation costs $34. Primer is $32. Now I love the packaging. I love the outer packaging and I love the inner packaging. But what I will say is that the packaging kind of doesn't coordinate, you know? Like, I, I I don't know if this is supposed to be like Rihanna has two personalities, like the wild child, but then it's like the pretty, the pretty girl. I, I You know, like, I, I don't know what happened here, you know? Like, you would think that the outer would match the inner. I don't know. It's just an observation. But the packaging is still very beautiful. I love them both. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the primer. The primer is 32 milliliters or 1.08 fluid ounces. And it just says Fenty Beauty right here. This is supposed to be soft matte. This truly does uh, mattify me. And then the foundation is supposed to be matte. That might be a little too much. But we're going to go with it. The outer shell. It says uh, smooths. Poor defining finish extended makeup wear I'm just gonna put that much this might be too much to be honest because it a little does go a long way from my me swatching it at the store and it has a, a little hint of a fragrance just a tad and it's not overwhelming it doesn't smell bad either I, I don't really know what the scent is to be honest but it's there. It's present. I always like dragging primers right here because this is where my foundation likes to sit the most. I haven't noticed that it has hidden any of my pores, but it smells really good. It's very hydrating on the skin. Now we're going to roll into the foundation. The foundation has different packaging, which I, 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 again, I don't know why, you know, like why we switched the packaging, but nonetheless, still beautiful. Uh, you get the same amount of foundation as you do primer. However, the primer is $2 more. No, $2 less, and the primer is $2 more. 34, 32. They do recommend you shake the bottle just like that. And then I'm gonna just kind of. Oh, I do wanna say primer definitely mattified it, definitely mattified my skin. My skin is looking very matte. And I do have combination skin for those of you that are unaware of my skin type. But lately it's been feeling a lot drier than normal. I don't know what's going on. And this is supposed to be medium to full coverage. And it's supposed to be very buildable. So we shall see. The foundation also has a bit of a, a fragrance. So this is my skin with the foundation using the beauty sponge, beauty blender, and then no foundation, foundation, no foundation. I feel like it does match me pretty good. I feel like. The coverage, it honestly, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look cakey or anything. I know that's something a lot of people were saying that it looked very cakey, very powdery. They didn't like it, but I I like it. It looks really good on my skin and it looks really nice on my nose. I don't feel like it looks cakey at all. I'm going to add one more pump. Because I do feel like it's more of a medium coverage than full. I like it. 
It doesn't look bad, honestly. I like it a lot with the sponge. We'll have to see how it goes with the brush. I did also want to say that a lot of people have said that it oxidizes. Even the guy at Sephora told me that the foundation oxidizes. Fenty Beauty released a Snapchat, not, not a Snapchat, but an Insta, Insta Stories situation saying that it doesn't oxidize. It just dries darker. I thought that that was oxidizing, but apparently it's not. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side with the brush. And the brush that I'm going to use is my Sigma F80, if I can find that brush. Hold, please. I'm back. I found it. Okay, Sigma F80 is what we're going to be using. Oh, oh, oh. Man down, man down. Again, I'm going to squirt two. I may not need this much because you usually lose less product when you use a brush, but... I want to be even Steven. I will say it does dry really fast, honestly. Like, I can already feel like it's drying. So I have to work fast. Holy, the coverage with the brush is by far fuller than with the sponge. Whew. I know I look really weird because I don't have concealer and I didn't put foundation on my lids because I never do. But we're just going to move past that. Wow. It looks so good. Is it too early to say that I love this foundation? I mean, are we there yet or not? I will say that while it's drying, you shouldn't make any facial expressions because it does settle in your lines. Like, you see that? Just be aware not to make any goofy expressions guys i'm really really liking this so far so good it looks really really good i feel like it definitely matches me i don't know you guys will have to let me know in the comments this side still feels a little tacky some people were saying that it dries really fast and it almost feels like you don't have to set it I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer off camera. I'm going to set my concealer only and I will come back and we will make an, a, a decision, an executive decision, if I need to set the face or not. We are back. I know it probably felt like a second, but we were gone for a while. The face feels very, very set. I didn't set my face whatsoever. It definitely feels like it's set, like it doesn't need any powder on it. It definitely looks so matte. I mean, not like drying matte. My face doesn't look like it needs hydration whatsoever. It definitely looks like my skin, but better, if that makes any sense. The bronzer, the blush, they both went on really, really well. It didn't cling on anything it didn't tug it didn't move anything it looks really really nice in my opinion and i mean honestly i really like this foundation so far i definitely will be wearing it the rest of the day and letting you guys know what i think right now it is 11 34 a.m i will definitely be checking back letting you know what i think but before we take a breather I did want to go in with the highlight and see what I think is my highlighting brush. I first want to go in to this shade right here, which is Girl Next Door. This is the more natural looking blush. I mean, highlight. I said blush because it looks pink. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Let us see here. 
I mean, I'm seeing a little, a little something, not too much action. This is definitely way more subtle, more probably PTA meeting approved. It's very, very subtle for those of you that don't like blinding highlights. I, however, I'm not about that life. This is Girl Next Door. Now I'm going to go in with Chick Freak, which is this one right here. And this is uh, what sold me onto the product. I feel like you really have to build these highlights up for, um, for them to like work. Oh no, I see it. Oh, she coming through though. Oh, there she is. There she is. Whoo! That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love. I'm going to be fair and I'm going to go ahead and set my face because I would do it any day. I do I do set my face every single day that I do my makeup. I will not treat this any different. So let's go ahead and set the face. We are set. Again, I'm just going to go about my day and I will come back let you guys know the tea on my foundation and how it is wearing but so far hey guys it is currently about 3 35 in the afternoon so it's been almost four hours since i have been wearing the foundation and it still looks really really good no breakage it doesn't look cakey or anything i will zoom you in to the forehead Still looks pretty good. And then around the nose, looks good. Around the cheek edge, highlight is still on point. I definitely do look a little dewy right here, but it definitely is not oil. I think it's more the highlighter since I did add highlight to my forehead, which maybe I shouldn't have for the review. But still looks good. I'll be back later today later on for another check-in it's already 7 14 and i have been wearing this foundation for i'd say almost eight hours and honestly it looks really really good i know that right now i look dewy but i feel like it's more because of the lights in real in real time real life off camera off lights i don't look this dewy and i also feel a, that it's a lot to do with the highlighter because I did highlight up here and then obviously like the high points and my chin. So I feel like that's why I look so dewy. The foundation honestly feels really, really good. It hasn't broken down anywhere. It still looks really, really good. I did hear that people have been saying it's really hard for them to take off the foundation. It kind of lingers. I don't know obviously because I haven't taken it off. But I will definitely let you know down in the description bar how that all went down and yeah I highly do recommend it I forgot to mention that this is uh, cruelty free but it is not vegan because some of the products do have carmine and bees beeswax I believe my advice is that you go into Sephora and you get color matched and you get a sample of the primer and the foundation and test it out for yourself and see if it works out for you if it does let me know in the comments what you think and I hope that you guys like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I will see everyone in my next video bye